Welcome to the Mayor Show. Uh, today we have, as always, very important things to talk about. Probably the most important thing right now is the addiction crisis that's going on, uh, not just here in Ben Salem, Bucks County, but throughout Pennsylvania and certainly the, the country. Uh, the addiction problem, as uh, everybody knows, uh, it is a crisis. And we, I think everybody knows what a crisis is today. And we're out there trying to find answers. How? to fix it. And today uh, I have a guest with me today is uh, Jay Quir Quirco. Jay uh, is with the Lower Bucks uh, Addiction Task Force, Lower Bucks County Ad Addiction Task Force. And uh, I want to let him start out by telling you how they got started and the great work that they're doing and how I got to support them. And certainly I'm sure a lot of people out there and a lot of people already have, but as you hear the show, I'm sure you're going to support it, Jay. I'd be happy to tell you how we got started. First thing I want to do is thank you for allowing me to oh, be here, always. and thank you for me allowing me to meet you and get to know you a little bit. Well, this, this, uh, this Ben Salem is very, very lucky to have a man like you. At the well, moment. I appreciate so, that. But the way this all got started, you can probably see my forehead. I'm sure that they can't see it there, but that's the result of a motorcycle accident, which I had every bone in my face broken, my jaw. I was nose in eight places, the eye sockets, the jaw, everything was broken. I had nine broken vertebrae from the motorcycle accident. A truck pulled in front of me, never saw me. Wrist, collapsed lung, broken rib, broken heel. Oh and uh, I flipped over, rolled 50 feet, and uh, I lived. And they said I should be dead. So I felt fine. I'm playing ice hockey again. I'm fine. But in the hospital, when it, all the doctors said I should be dead, I should be dead because of what happened. I said, I'm not okay, I'm okay, I'm going to be okay. I've never lost consciousness, but they said, take these opiates. And I knew I was going to be in pain for a lot of time because I had a lot of broken bones. I said, no, I'm not going to take the opiates. So I didn't take the opiates. And I'm thankful I didn't. But then I got involved with uh, our church running a Code Blue, which is where we help the homeless during the winter when it gets cold. Our church is running it. And I thought I'd better get out to it because I thought that day that I had that motorcycle accident, somebody was watching over me because every doctor said I should be dead, and I, I wasn't. I'm fine. So I went to the Code Blue, and I got to know Penny Martin, who's the CEO of Advocates for the Homeless and Those in Need, who run the Code Blue in Lower Bucks. She's one of my best friends. I'm very lucky to have her as a friend. And through that, she couldn't make a meeting at St. Thomas Aquinas. That was an addiction panel meeting. She asked me to go in her place, and I went, and they had a panel discussion. After the panel discussion, Matt Weintraub, who was the assistant district attorney at that time, asked me to coordinate the efforts in Lower Bucks to fight this drug addiction problem. We didn't know each other, and I don't know if he really knew what we were getting into when he asked me to do that, because <laughs> he suggested we pattern what they were doing up in uh, Upper Bucks, but I didn't go that route. And it's a good thing, because what they're doing in Upper Bucks is folded. They don't have that going anymore. But what I did, did was I, just, I developed this Lower Bucks Addiction Task Force. And uh, we're a coalition in the community. That's all we are, a bunch of key community members. And uh, our purpose is to conquer this crisis of addiction. That's what we're devoted to. Our memberships include elected officials. You know, we have federal congressman, state senator, four local representatives in Bucks County. We have Matt is now the district attorney. He's obviously on it. We have government involved. We have the, the uh, director of human services, Ruben, we, John Ruben. We have Diane Rosati. She's in charge of the Drug oh, and Alcohol yeah. Commission. We have, uh, we have the, the treatment centers. We have all the recovery centers. We have the recovery homes. We have the president of the recovery home process. We have the, uh, a few law enforcement besides Matt. We have Fred Horan. Yeah. who I'm sure you're aware of, and everyone else in Ben Salem, I think we is sure probably are. pretty well yeah, aware of and yeah. proud of. Uh, veterans, the media, we have all these organizations that are part of Real the coalition. It's a coalition. Yep. And I built this with the thought that uh, we would be able to do something in this community. My background was not in this. My background was I worked 41 years for the Inspector General of Treasury. We audited IRS. That was my job. But my job there, which is kind of interesting now, where th th that has no background for this. But what that led me to do is I could look at things and see, well, what's the problem? We did operational auditing. And the operational auditing is you look at what they're trying to do, the organization, you figure out how can you better it, and you make recommendations. So that's what I started to do with this. And uh, it led me into what we're calling the C4 challenge, C to the fourth, just like the explosive yep. C4. C 
this is exploding. Exciting. <laughs> yeah. And it is. I mean, it, it, it is. It's taken off. Tremendous job. And that's why this we're here. This is taken off. Yep. Is, and, and right now, what we're, what we're doing now, we're in the midst of it. We're really got it thing geared up. Things are falling in place. And uh, we are really moving forward. Uh, I just want to show you, these are all the events. I know the audience can't see this, but these are all the events that we're partners with. And you can sort of see them. Yeah, well, I think we'll be able to try to show that on there uh, at some point yeah. in time. He'll these are all the things on. that we're involved with, and uh, we partner or we sponsor. The biggest one we're going to sponsor is called the Community Call to Action Rally, which is going to be happening probably in November. We're going to split, split it in two, I think, because it's our venue is Cairn University, and we're expecting to get the whole community out because what we're trying to do is mobilize the whole community. That's what we're trying to do. Not only do we have all these members that are key to our community effort to fight the drug addiction problem, but what we have done as a task force has come up with the vision that we want to include the whole community in this fight, everybody, to join us in trying to conquer this it's crisis. It's got to be that way, Jay, because it's going to take not one or no. two people. It's got to your task force, that's, that's the kind of people getting together, yes. And that's unique. And I we don't know believe in that. Any Absolutely. other place doing it that way, Mayor? I don't know of any other place. And our hope is that, yeah, we can, by an all, everybody, all, you know, all hands on deck approach, all inclusive. We have government involved, but they can't handle faith base as much as we can. That's right. We have everybody involved. And by having the people involved, we think that we're going to be able to beat this, and if we can, then what do we do next? Don't we say if. You're going to, we're going to beat we're it. Going to we're beat going to beat it. That. We're <laughs> going to beat it. I am convinced <laughs> as long as we all stick together as a team, we're going to beat this thing. And when we do, we can take this model and move it to the next community, the rest of Bucks County, and then maybe the rest of the state. I went to uh, Philadelphia to watch how they did. They had a commission up there, expensive commission. I, they were presenting it at Prevention Point. And I talked to James Baker, who was the chairman, and uh, I asked him, well, Kensington's where you get the drugs. What are you doing? He says, we don't have law enforcement. We're not doing anything with Kensington. I said, well, well we have law enforcement on our task force. And he said, in front of everybody, he said, you know, we've got to pattern ourselves after you. And I said, yeah, you know you do. <laughs> yeah, that's a different animal. It's all hands that's on all deck. Right. We're trying to really mobilize. And, and uh, it, it just, you know, we have the best police force you could have we we do they can't do it all it's not no. they, they can't no. we need as a community to help them we got to help this, this crisis because it's incredible it I, I i don't know how i i, I don't know how to explain it anymore I, the calls that we get you know the ods ods and, and the crisis of that and people losing their life over it i mean it's it, it, it's unbelievable sad, sad. These, these a lot of these kids they're gone and we as a society have lost some of the most promising young talent we have. Because <sighs> they're, they're very talented kids, many of these, that are dying from this. It's, it's, it's very sad to see, and it's one of the disheartening, most disheartening things I experience on a daily basis. The most rewarding things is the people I meet who are trying to help yeah. fight this crisis. And it's a lot, isn't it, Jay? Really, <laughs> it's people want to be this. You know, they do. I go from place to place to place, and Sometimes we, we met the superintendent of Chamonix, and hopefully I have a chance to talk to you about what we're doing there. We just went there, Andrea and I. Andrea Danes, she's my partner yeah, in all yeah, this. Yeah, I know Andrea. We went just knocking on the door, and you won't believe what came out of that. But he, and he's on our task force now. Uh, and we do a lot of things. Besides all the events we partner or sponsor, we are involved with a lot of other initiatives. We're working with the recovery school so that our students in lower in Bucks County can go to the one and only state-sponsored recovery school. It's in Philadelphia, but we've made it available. As soon as they pass the budget, anybody who needs to go to that from Bucks County school will be able to go. Uh, we do restroom signage. You're going to see signs in the restroom doors. Uh, if you need help, here are the numbers. No we're doing prisoner re-entry. That's a pretty key thing. Before prisoners are released, we're trying to f help with getting it all ready and set. We do drug court transportation. I'll be doing that tomorrow. Uh, transport people to drug court. The, the mass transit is not good enough from down here yeah. to get them up there in time. Yeah, we don't so have it all over. You're right. Through I the mean, van, advocates for the homeless yeah. and those in need. We yeah. van them up there and we van them back. <laughs> you know? And it, it's working out. Right. How does that but work? How does how does people go know about that? That that can help. How do you get? How would they call or how would they know? It's all being coordinated by Anna Rosada with the. 
Okay, the drug Bucks and alcohol. County. She's okay. working with the so they would call there, right? And what they do is, the ones from Lower Bucks, I pick them up at eleven o'clock at the library. However many there are, transport them in mass. So they schedule them all for the same day. Transport them up. Transport wait them four back. hours. Transport them back and take them back to the what library. What library? Which library? The one. Uh, uh, Bristol. Well, no, it's the one at Levittown. Levittown, okay. Yeah, yeah I want to make sure. Yeah, right okay. there at Five Points, yeah. Yep. But the big thing we're doing in this, mobilizing the whole community, uh, is what we're calling the Red Challenge Ribbon, and that's what this is about. Yeah, why don't we talk a little this bit This is the Red that. Challenge Ribbon. And uh, what yeah, the Red really Challenge right. Ribbon is the outward sign that I'm aware of the crisis and I am committed to doing something about it. And that's what this really represents. I wear one on my hat at all times. I don't leave my house without it. Just means a simple thing. I'm aware of the crisis and I am committed to doing something about it. I was, we were at the tech school and uh, I was talking to a student who uh, received one of these, and he, but he wasn't sure what he could do. And I said simply, anybody else who you're friends with comes up to you and says, hey, you want this drug? You say, no. So I ask you again, you say, no. Then you go to your other friends and say, we don't need this stuff. We don't really want this stuff or need it. That's a grassroots approach. Be strong, stand up for your beliefs. You don't well, need we this stuff. Well, we teach that to the kids in the D.A.R.E. program, obviously. Uh, absolutely. Uh, well, and, and we do that religiously. Uh, now, what we're doing with the schools is we're working through Nishamini at first, I went to a coalition meeting and they asked, what projects can our students have? And I said, you guys can build ribbons. So what the Shabani is going to do is they're going to build the ribbons, they're going to distribute them to all the students in their schools, and then they're going to distribute them to the homes too. That's one way we're going to mobilize in the Shabani. Obviously, I'm now reaching out to the other school districts, I'm making my contacts, and I just can't, it's sometimes it, 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 to get the students we're going to beat this thing. You said it. I, I believe I'm, we're going to. I'm, but can you imagine what it's going to mean to these students if they have, if this is the worst health crisis we've ever had as a country, the worst. No and if question. we can beat this and these kids can have something to do with that, that's going to have yeah. a long-term impact on them. Short term, I think they're going to be willing to say, I'm fighting this thing. I'm committed to fighting it. I'm not going to take any. But long term, they're going to say, I helped beat the worst problem we had. Yeah. The kids, and that to me is kind of you know, interesting. Uh, 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 maybe this is a good way of putting it, but uh, polio and growing up, you know polio. Yes, and yes. Eradicated polio, okay? This is a little different. But I, I'm just saying, when you get our minds, all of us working together, we're going to beat this thing. We, we don't have a choice. <laughs> we, we have no choice. You're right, Mayor. We have no choice. And it's people like you that organize and getting all these people together. And that's what it takes. That's what it takes. It takes a team. And uh, I'm really, I'm really confident. I'm, <laughs> I'm w getting there. If, we're, 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 if we stay together and everybody working together, I mean, when you look up here, law enforcement, elected officials, responders, government, clergy, treatment, base ministries, education, mental health, you got everything down. When they all come together, you know, that's what it's going to take. Yeah. And you're doing it. That's and I vision. appreciate that that's so much, you and have. Andrea. Uh, and that's, that's exactly what we're doing. And we're just hoping that everybody takes one of these ribbons and wears it. You know, uh, I also had a person at PROACT, I had a person who was in recovery. I said, when you were in your addiction, could I have helped you? He said, no, because he wasn't ready. But he said, when I was ready, if I would have seen you with that red ribbon, I would come up to you and ask for you to help me. And since I'm committed, that's what my red ribbon means, I will help you. I will take you to Gaudenzia. They're open 24-7 for your assessment. I will do that, and I will stay with you. You know, here at our police station, you can walk in, no questions asked. No questions, no nothing, and we'll, we'll make sure you get a place. We talk about that all the time. That's very important. Yes, it is. There's no questions asked. You come in, we'll make sure that you get a place to go to, uh, what we call a bed, that you can get into a place and get recovery. Because I, And you have to, they have to make up their mind and, and want that. They can walk in this place. There's no questions asked. They get taken to a place. So... Uh, and I know, you know, we hope that everybody can do that somehow. But they need beds, too. I, I hear that all the time. They don't have as, as many places for recovery as you think they do. Yeah. Yeah, it, that is the biggest problem. That yeah. and transportation are the yeah. two biggest. Yeah. And uh, we're trying to do what we can to, to help on both of those. 
Uh, this is important, though. Not only are you going to see these, hopefully, on people's apparel, but we're also going to have bigger ribbons for the homes. So you'll be able to display it on your front door, your tree, your lamppost. You go down a block, we want to see red ribbons. Yeah. We want the people to know this is not a place where drugs are accepted. One of the things, one of the initiatives that have been initiated by our district attorney and Representative Galloway is push out the pusher. Yep. This is pretty important because this deals with the supply the side. Way, okay, where they can say it. I don't want to cover you. There you go. There's the supply side I'll of the property. Cover my right face. <laughs> now put this up. And where do you want it? Right there. Go ahead. Talk, tell us about it. Obviously, this is the re this is what Matt Weintraub, our district attorney, and John Galloway, our representative out of Falls, have initiated. And what we're trying to do is identify the pushers. We're trying to have the whole community become the eyes and ears of this problem. Where they see a problem, they call this number. And if this person who they turn in gets arrested and convicted, you can get up to a $5,000 reward. We'd like to see a lot of these signs out in our community. We're starting to see them all the time. And if you go to this website, you can order it on site. And probably two days later, it'll be in the ground. This is a start for everybody in the community. And uh, with this, we certainly hope that everybody's going to start wearing a ribbon or have the house covered with a ribbon. Uh, so that's, that's really what we're trying to do. And I'm, I'm extremely hopeful. Uh, I, I go play out here. The stigma is a problem. And we're going to have, we try to come up with events that can uh, maybe help. One of the events we have is something called a, a softball kickball picnic for our LBATF members. What we want to do is have the residences, residents of recovery homes on the same field as our police officers, our first responders, mm -hmm. rescue squad, and our LBATF members. Have we done it yet? Or is this the first. We're going to have it at the end of October. Oh, okay. And that's yeah, going to be a fun. Fair. It's going to be a big pig roast. We're going to have a lot of fun that day. Good. You Where's know? that going to be? We hope to see you there. <laughs> Where's that going to be? <laughs> that's going to be at the Pacific Little League Fields. That's so, in Levittown? Yeah. It'll be October 29th. Okay. But that's, many, that's just one of our many events. But what we're trying to do that day is destigmatize the stigma of addiction by having police officers or the same field as residents from recovery homes. So we try to come up with ideas that we think will really have an impact on our community. I've lived here all my life, and this community means a lot to me. Uh, uh, I, I've me never, too. I don't know what the addiction, I don't understand it. I've yeah. never had it in myself or my family. Or I. But, but it is, this is the crisis I that we've got to beat. All families, there's so many out there, with it, so we can't say, you know, it, it can happen. And it does happen. There's no question. I mean, uh, but how, like, if they want to get in, involved, how do they get involved? If, how would they call you or Andrea and say, I want to be involved in what you're doing? How, is there a way for people to get involved? They could call here. And I could certainly well, we'd uh, welcome that. If you get, to get in touch it, with It's just about stuff. every event. Not only right now, all of our events, am I taking ribbons, but we also have a sign-up sheet. And we've just now got somebody who is going to be our volunteer coordinator. We're going to have nights like this Thursday night is going to be a night where we're making ribbons because everywhere I go, I give out every event I go to, I give out these ribbons. Uh, so we're going to need ribbons. So we're going to be making them. We're going to volunteer night. Uh, we also have just brought on somebody who is called our Red Challenge Ribbon Coordinator because we're going to have to have coordinate these right here. This is one of the means we're hoping to put these in almost, we got 300 of these we have to distribute in our community. And the mayor's office is the number one. He's the first one to get one. And that's the number one. And, and I thank that. you for we're that. We're proud we of that. Will, <laughs> we will have that out. And uh, Today we're going to figure out where the other 299 are going. Obviously, we want to see them in the schools. We want to see them in the churches. Because we're going to, besides the school districts, we're going to have the churches distributing these red ribbons, too. We're going to those all Absolutely. I to so besides schools, churches, and Lower Bucks Chamber of Commerce is on board with us. But we're going to put these out in a lot of places. Uh, Hospitals, libraries, schools, churches, municipalities. Let me, let, let like me ask this. you a question. We're saying lower bucks. So are we concentrating? What's what are we going up in Lower South, Middletown? Is that yes? Is that the area across yes. there? Yes. All the way up into Tully Town. Tully Town Lift is part of this. Okay. Lift is Lower Makefield, Yardley, uh, Falls, and Bristol, Tully Town. Bristol, Bristol, Bristol Borough, Borough, Bristol Township, yeah, ben Middletown, Salem. Ben Salem. Yes. Yep. All of them. We go out to like Warminster. Yeah. That far. Yeah, and like I said, once we beat it here, it's designed so if they emulate our membership, 
and our vision of having everybody on board and involved with this and committed to fighting it because it is the worst crisis. Jay, Jay I, I, I see your car. Yeah. Now, oh, is that the information we give out, right? That's it, right there. Can I put it on the Absolutely. screen at the end? That'll Absolutely. be on there. It'll be your, uh, your email and your, and your cell? You want yes, that? Yes, that's out fine. There, okay. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, we'll put that on the screen. So if you want to get in touch with Jay, and you should, uh, any way you can help and volunteer even, I'm sure that you can use all that. But if you want to know more about it, and maybe not enough detail that we did here today, they can call you or email you. I'd be and, happy. And yeah. I know Jay. I know his <laughs> passion for this. Yeah. And uh, that's what your second shot was after the motorcycle accident. I had stuff for you to do, and this is what it is. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. This is what yes, you're it is, supposed Mayor. to be doing. Absolutely. Yep. I'm convinced that the people I've met because of this, things are happening that I can't explain, I can't plan. They just happen. And it's, it's better than anything I could plan. Uh, and as you can see from our motto, oh, it's bringing yep. hope to the addiction crisis and our hashtag is be the hope. We want everybody wearing a red ribbon. We want everybody to be the hope. To get for started, who you needs can them. come here and get started with the red ribbons. That's right and, here. And I'm sure we're going to find a way to replenish that and keep Absolutely. That, that full here. And it's really, really important. Uh, you all know the crisis. I know you know the crisis. It's just been all over national news, local news, wherever. The crisis is there. We had to defeat this crisis. And you, I, Jay, I mean it with all my heart and soul that if we stick together and you leading your way there, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. It's just my, it's a vision I came up with. Like I said, maybe from my 41 years, something came out mm -hmm. of that. Because I saw all the efforts that all these members of our task force are, they're already out there in the trenches doing things. The government's out there doing things. Matt Weintraub is out there doing and, everything and, he can. Government can't but do everything. No, they can't. Because I, 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 I don't know how to explain this to you, but government, it, it takes the people, which, which takes makes the, the government. And, and that's what it's going And to what do. we're trying to do is we're trying to change the mindset away from this drugs is first. You might hear oftentimes they'll say marijuana is the gateway drug. I don't know. I see our teenagers taking marijuana, drinking alcohol, and smoking a lot. I think, that, I think it goes down to first grade where we might try to have some students who are a little bit unruly taking Ritalin and we're telling them, you're going to need this the rest of your life. That's a, I don't think that was the wisest thing for us as a society to do. I think that's more like the gateway. We're teaching people they need these drugs and we're taking a more holistic approach. Uh, body, mind, and spirit. You get, that's how you become healthy. Diet and exercise, get your spiritual yeah, life right, absolutely. and uh, you're going to yeah. be a lot healthier for it. I don't take any drugs at all. I'm 68. God uh, bless you. I just exercise and diet. That's wonderful. Yeah. Just yeah. probably like you. <laughs> well, I do lots of exercise, <laughs> but I do take a blood pressure pill. Yeah, so I'm fine. Uh, God's blessed me to do this. I think. I think that's why I'm doing this. Yeah. I'm here to do this. Well, so what here. we're going to do is uh, we'll have the email and absolutely his cell phone that you'll be able to call or email him, and he may be able to email him some of this information you have. I'll give you all the C4 challenge you'll yeah. be able to hear about. And certainly we can give you any information if you want to work with Jay and Andrea on this and uh, certainly it's the, the task force that we're working with. And if you want to volunteer, again, call Jay, use his email site. I'm giving you the last word. Oh, I'm just saying this is a pleasure. I, I, I thoroughly enjoy it. I'm so glad to meet this guy, get to have known him, well, and know what you're doing in Ben Salem, well, and meeting all the well, people we're in Ben Salem. Part of a team. Fight this, Jay, you know. we're part of a team. I always I'm say so happy teams I, win. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. And, and tell Andrea I said hello. I we'll will. be in touch. Yes. We're going to have the ribbons for anyone out here. We'll have them right in the lobby for now, and uh, we're going to continue to fill that up. Hopefully, in a couple of days, I'll need more. I'll have them for you. Continue the great work. Thank and you, uh, thank you for the great way you and Andrea are doing. Thank you. And uh, thank you, everybody. I uh, hope you listened and get a hold of Jay anytime you want. Until next time, God bless.